Transformers Studio Series is undoubtedly one of the best toy lines in Transformers history. But what are the figures that we still need that we don't have that it would be great if Hasbro puts in? Well, we're going to talk about that in this video. What's up, Alfonso Nation? Alfonso Peterman, the home dog, is here today. Welcome one and welcome all to another video. Excuse the video quality and the framing. Um, I'm shooting this with my phone right now. I no longer have my camera. I'm switching cameras to a brand new camera. I'll make a video about that on another channel for another time. But I'm, that's why this looks a little bit different. But anyways, I wanted to talk about in this video the top 10 Studio Series figures that I personally would love to have and I think we'd most definitely need considering the figures we've gotten in the past. Now, you guys know we all, we have a ton of figures out. We have a lot of stuff that's still coming. We have rumors of new figures and we have confirmed figures on the way. But there's still figures that haven't gotten any attention yet, still haven't gotten any coverage. So, what is the figures that I think we need in this year or even going into 2020? Well, I want to get into that right now. So, number 1, Voyager class Blitzwing. I, I, I just feel like because we got the Bumblebee movie characters, we got B, we got Shattered Dropkick, we got Prime, I think it would only do us justice. It would only be right to do Blitzwing. He's uh, one of the main characters in the film. He literally is the one that took Bumblebee's voice. It'd be only fitting to have him as a figure in the line. I think that with the quality that Studio Series is putting out and the detail, they have the potential to really put a really nice uh, Voyager Class Blitzwing out on the market for consumers to buy. I think that would be perfect, it would be great, and for any collector, they would love it. Number two is kind of a personal one because I really do like this character, one of my favorite characters. Actually, I think my favorite Decepticon in Transformers Dark of the Moon, and that's Shockwave. I mean, we don't have a Shockwave. And it would be perfect since Studio Series is basically putting in characters from a variety of different movies from the entire franchise. It'd be great to have Shockwave. And now that we have a leader class Dark of the Moon Optimus Prime with jet wings, and we have other Dark of the Moon characters, it would be great to have a leader class Shockwave in the line. He's my, one of my personal favorites. I just love his body design. I love the one eye. I love the giant cannon. And I love the overall just structural look of Shockwave. He looks very strong. I don't like the way they did him <laughs> in Dark of the Moon. But I liked him as a character. I liked the way he looked. He had a great menacing Decepticon appearance. And I wish he would have had some good fighting chance. But now that we have Studio Series in the line, we have a bunch of toys coming out from different characters, from different movies. Put in Shockwave, throw him in a mix. We got Leader, Dark of the Moon, Megatron, and Prime. Why not Shockwave? Number three, Leader Class Infernicus. I just, I, you know, I really think Infernicus has potential. I really do. I think that they can make a, even Shady does. <laughs> I think they can make a really nice Infernicus figure if they put in the time for it. The Premier Edition Infernicus we got was okay. It was acceptable given the fact that they uh, had to put the Infernicons and had to basically combine them to where they can detach and reattach. That's cool. Personally, I don't need to break him apart as long as he looks good or transforms into some type of jet. I know he wouldn't be a combiner technically, but still, just to have a good body, like a good robot mode of Infernicus would be absolutely amazing. To even go with the Last Night Optimus Prime Premier Edition, that would be fantastic. It doesn't seem like they're going to do it, but I think that because of how mediocre the Premier Edition was, I think it's a perfect time to refresh that bad boy and put a nice Infernicus for a studio series. That'd be great. Number four... I want the Wreckers. That's right, baby. I want the Wreckers to come to Studio Series. We need Lead Flick, we need Roadbuster, and we need Top Spin in Studio Series. It'd be nice to have a three-pack deluxe of those fig of those characters. And I think, uh, you know, again, with all of the Dark of the Moon characters coming out, since they're building a collection, essentially with the stock that they're putting out, the merchandise they're putting out, 
why not have the records? They had a tremendous role in Dark of the Moon, more than I would have thought with the Xanthium, with the return of the Autobots, and even in the final battle, the records were killing it. They were defending Optimus Prime even whenever Sentinel Prime was going on his rampage. I think, you know, it would be only fitting to have them in there. And if you have all these other figures I'm suggesting and the figures we already have, Imagine the amazing Dark of the Moon collection you can get together if you put them all together. Number five, we need The Last Knight. A new character for The Last Knight. Now, this guy is my, I think I've said it before too, this is my favorite body upgrade or body design change next to Megatron for The Last Knight. I admire with a passion this body design we need a barricade i am obsessed <laughs> with barricades design even his transformations were the most satisfying in the film and you know what i'll be honest the premiere edition barricade we got was awesome it was great great detail i like the accessory that came with him i like the posability the paint job was amazing shady agrees <laughs> But I honestly think they have the potential to make it even better with the Studio Series. Now, the reason why I want it again is because I feel like Barricade for the last night, the Premier Edition, was too small. He was a deluxe figure, and I think it'd be great to have a Voyager class Barricade for Studio Series. That would be amazing. That's what we need. Hasbro, please, if you don't do anything, please do that. <laughs> I love Barricade's new design. I, I mean, some people like the classic design, but man, that that police car, oh my, and the transport, and then I like how he has like the chain with the badge. It's just, ama he's amazing. So that's like a must have. Number six, baby. We're, we're moving up this list pretty fast. Number six, I would like to say we need, and this is a leader class, we need leader class. Galvatron! <laughs> we need Galvatron for Studio Series. I think, personally, having a Galvatron, given that we have a Studio Series lockdown, um, the scale wouldn't really work out in that sense, but still, we would have a figure for it. We have a ton of Studio Series Megatron, so it's not like, you know, we're missing out on Megatron. We have no Galvatron. It would be absolutely great to have Galvatron for Studio Series. I know that they can make a really nice Galvatron. I, I I could just imagine that gaping hole in his chest, like just a nice Galvatron leader class figure. I think will be really good for this line. Number seven is probably my number one, <laughs> like my most next to Barricade, because I we haven't gotten another, like a refresh of this guy in a long periodic time. We need, now this is not like my suggestion or my, we, we, we want or we should have. We need this figure. Without this figure, there shall be no victory. I'm not even kidding, like my number, it, this is technically my number one, but this is not in chronological order, so I'm just like randomly putting them out there. But this is technically my number one, the one that we really need. We need a Voyager class, Dino. I'm Dino. We need Hasbro. <laughs> we need you. I am calling you to action, Hasbro. 100%. We need a Dino Mirage, whatever you want to call him. But I, his, it's Dino in the film. I heard something about this figure that maybe Hasbro can't create it. I don't know if this is a rumor or not, so take this with a grain of salt, but I heard like they lost property to it, or like they lost rights or something, I don't know, but it was like they can't create it, like they can't put Dino out there, um, I don't know what happened with that, I don't know if that's true or not, I'm just saying we never got one in a while, and so maybe that's why the speculation started to surface, but 100%, 100%, if we get nothing else, a Dino, and I also would like for the blades on Dino to... Like, you'd be able to pull it out, and, like, you can, like, it's like a loose chain, and it would be cool, like, to have it, like, free roam. But anyway, Wendy Dino, he has a beautiful body design, one of my favorites in Dark of the Moon, and I freaking, we, we need it. So, that's definitely a must-have. Number eight, baby! Number eight, I think, given that we have an Optimus Prime, 
We have a Megatron leader class. We've got Ratchet. We've got Sideswipe. We've got a lot of Dark of the Moon figures. Or a lot of the characters that were in Dark of the Moon. Even Bumblebee. But we don't have a really major contributor to the Dark of the Moon. You know where I'm going. We don't have Sentinel Prime, baby! We need Sentinel Prime! We need a leader Sentinel Prime. Being the fact we have a leader Prime, leader Megatron, hopefully we get a leader Shockwave, as I suggested. Leader Sentinel Prime, yes. And my only request, my only request, if we do leader Sentinel Prime, he has to come with that dagger. That giant dagger that he held. It'd be cool to have the rust gun as well, but as long as we got that dagger, I think he would be beautiful. I had a problem with the previous Sentinel Prime figures. I just felt like he was, like the top of him was just too big and the, like his legs were too small for his design. It didn't proportionally look well. And again, with the way that Studio Series is doing with all these fantastic looking characters, I have never seen toys made of plastic look so good like it's metal, like it's a, the legit character. So whatever they're doing for Studio Series, whoever is working on it, they're doing a great job. They need to bring Sentinel Prime into the mix. Number nine, Skids and Mudflap, baby. Come on now. You gotta have the two guys. You gotta have the twins. You gotta have the twins. Now, I'd be, I'd be happy if we had a twin, like a two-pack. Deluxe, they don't have to be too big, they're twins, they're intentionally smaller in size, so it'd be cool to have Skids, Mudflap, Deluxe, 2-pack. The reason why it'd be great is because not only do we have other Revenge of the Fallen figures like uh, Jet Power Prime and we have other figures, you can even put Ironhide in there and Sideswipe, they were in the film, even Ratchet. Um, but it'd be awesome because of the fact that we are going to be having Devastator show up very very soon with all of the different constructed cons that are coming out and the fact that you can combine them you can have devastator in your collection so the fact that we're gonna have a skids and mud flap like we should have that the fact that we would have that though would really complete any type of scene you put with devastator number 10 Again, these are not chron chronological, I'm just putting them in a list randomly of all the figures I think we need. I don't think it's right to put them chronologically, because there's no way to really gauge that. It's just my opinion of what should be first and last, but we really just need these top 10. Number 10, his name forevermore was The Fallen. Why? I don't even know why we don't have The Fallen by now. But a leader class Fallen would literally complete Revenge of the Fallen. I mean, like, it wouldn't have every single character, but it would complete the essential characters. Like, we would have Jet Power Prime, which you can put, um, just, I, I can only imagine the poses you can put them together with, with, like, Jet Power Prime and his giant cannon, or, like, he's, like, ripping off the face of the Fallen. That would be cool if the Fallen's face is removable, and, like, under it is, like, the broken up face. That would be perfect, because he's not the type to have, like, an accessory. He can come with the Matrix of Leadership as an accessory, but that's about it. He didn't he just need an accessory. He is the weapon himself. Um, I think he also had, like, this staff thing, so he can come with, like, the staff and then, like, a Matrix. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. That would be great, especially if the Matrix, like, it, it came with a Matrix, because you can add that Matrix and you can pose it with the Jet Power Prime or with Optimus Prime and Jetfire separately. You can have Jetfire hanging over Prime. You can literally recreate the scene. You can have Jetfire hanging over Prime. You could have the Matrix somewhere in that mix and Prime's on the ground. Lane. Like literally you can create Revenge of the Fallen. You can do it yourself. You can literally make the movie. Um, I think they'll be able to put a lot more detail, a lot more effort into the detail because he doesn't transform. So you can really just focus on his body design and really perfecting the details and the paint jobs and everything like that. So it won't really go much into engineering the figure to transform because he won't really have to. Um, it's really all just getting it to look as accurate to the film as possible. So that's basically what I think uh, the top 10 figures that, that we most definitely need in 2019. We're probably not going to have all these figures or any of these figures this year, but if we can just have them at all, I mean, I'm saying 2019, but it could just be period, you know, in, in the future at some point. It would be great to have these figures in the line, perfect for collectors, 
I just think the reason why I'm making this video is because I'm seeing how nice Studio Series is starting to create things and how nice they're coming out. So I'm like, all right, well, while this line is still happening, <laughs> let's throw, you know, let's throw these guys in. Let's throw the Fallen in. Let's throw Dino in there. Let's let's get some good characters in while they're making new toys for this line. Because I don't know what's going to happen once Studio Series ends or once they run out of characters. I don't know what's going to happen. So while we're there, let's get some good figures. Let's get a good collection. Let's get a good set. So... Right now, I want you guys to tell me what do you think we need the most in 2019 and beyond for the Studio Series. What do you want to see the most? And just comment below and let me know. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Um, yeah, sorry about inactivity. Again, my job is killing me. <laughs> Essentially, that's what's happening. But I'm fighting through it. I'm getting through it. Um, and uh, I hope to... Uh, Make new videos with my new camera soon. I'm super excited for that. It's gonna, I'm going to have it by my birthday, so that's really exciting. And also, I just want to say, guys, thank you guys so very much for 14,000 subs. Amazing. Incredible. We're rising up. We're going to be in 20K in no time. And that's mind-blowing just to think about for my channel. But thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I want you to pow on that like button for me. And my name is Alfonso, and I'll catch you guys on the next one what was that that was new what what wait i did how do i recreate it was like this type of thing that was <laughs> i've never done that be that literally came out of nowhere i was trying to find something cool to do and it just didn't work out so they had this little animation going on <laughs> all right guys peace out